When America went to the polls to elect their president, stakes were high. And everyone was waiting with bated breath to see the outcome of that election. In Africa, for example, there were divided opinions. There is this group of thought, there is this school of thought that felt that we were tired of Democrats because under the leadership of Joe Biden, America had interfered with the socio-economic and political affairs of Africans that we became puppets. And so they felt that it was time yet again for Donald Trump to pounce back. But others felt that Trump did not mean well with his policies of, of, of immigration. And they wanted Kamala Harris to continue, especially because of the women votes, and they felt that it was time for Democrats. All the same, Donald Trump has been declared the president of the USA. And I love the way this article summarizes it. It says, Donald Trump has been elected the 47th president of the United States, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the US Capitol, was convicted of felony charges, and survived two assassination attempts. He refused to accept defeat. <laughs> and uh, he sparked violent insurrection. That is what this article says. He was charged with the felony and he, he really survived two assassination attempts. And now that is the comeback. He's now the president of the USA. Now, Donald Trump got 277 electoral votes compared to 224 of Kamala Harris. He swept 52 seats in the Senate against Kamala Harris, 42. In the other house, he had got 197 against Kamala Harris, 177. And of course, Demo uh, Republicans got 27 governors compared to the, to, to the Democrats. So Republicans swept all the houses, the presidency, and everything. In Kenya, someone is mourning. William Samoy Ruto is mourning because his best friend has lost. You know, William Ruto and Joe Biden had a very close relationship. In fact, in the 2022 election, we believe that it was Meg Whitman who helped William Ruto ascend to power. Now, people have congratulated Donald Trump, including the, the UK ambassador to US, Ukraine, Japan, and all that. In Kenya, the former deputy, Rigedi Gashagwa, rushed to congratulate Donald Trump. This is what he said. Rigedi Gashagwa said, congratulations, President Donald Trump, for one of the greatest political comebacks of our generation. Your victory is clear proof that resilience and a never-say-die attitude will always trump obstacles on the path to your destiny. God bless you. And you know why Rigatha is doing that. Now, at the Senate, there was fire, fireworks, when ODM members of, of, of Parliament went in jubilation congratulating uh, Trump because they felt... It couldn't have come at a better time like this. Kindly take a look. Mr. Speaker, as I finalize, I want to really thank the Americans for voting in Trump to finish the culture of what our children have been crying for, a culture that is not our culture, and now America has awakened itself. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you know my name is CNN, and then CNN... CNN, I know, CNN and you, Mr. Speaker, you supported Donald Trump to win the elections. And I want to bring the breaking news to the House that Donald Trump is the President of the United States of America. So congratulations to him, and that is why I am excited. Yeah. And I, being the CNN, I just wanted to bring the news to you, Mr. Speaker, so that we can celebrate this victory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity.
very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I see the chair of the ICT committee contesting. Mr. Speaker, first, I want to associate myself with the, the remarks by one CNN that the world order by the act of the Americans is poised to change. That I'm excited that the war in the Middle East will end. I'm excited that the children in Russia and Ukraine will go to school. That I'm excited that our armed forces in Haiti will come back home. Now, William Ruto has declined to congratulate Donald Trump. And because of that, the other members of the Kenya Kwanza government are afraid of, of congratulating Donald Trump before William Ruto does that. I think they're waiting for William Ruto. That is when you will hear people like Kithure Kindiki, Muselem Dabadi. They are waiting. I don't know whether they have not accepted. And from where William Ruto sits is a very sad man. During the swearing-in ceremony of William Samuel Ruto, Joe Biden sent a delegation from the U.S. that has never been seen before. And the closeness of William Ruto and Joe Biden is something that was never secret. Recently, he was invited to the U.S. At some point, he was even allowed to sit on the president's seat. You know that we've taken our police to Haiti. And so William Ruto was the new kid on the block, championing climate change. He was being praised by Joe Biden everywhere. Many Kenyans will tell you that the closeness of William Ruto and the U.S. made him to behave as if Kenyans didn't matter. He behaved as if he was elected by the U.S. Just the same way our parliamentarians are behaving as if it is William Ruto who elected them. What exactly is at stake? For Kenyans who support Donald Trump, they feel, as you heard some of the ODA members say, that we need to get back our culture. Through the back door, William Ruto allowed the LGBTQ to have the freedom of association and basically giving them a right to do whatever they want. Many feel that this will be Will, this will come to an end. William Ruto lifted the ban on GMO that Uru had placed for the two years he was in power. We do not know whether this was an American policy or it was an arrangement between William Ruto and Joe Biden. If at all it was an individual agreement, this is going to come to an end. We believe our policemen who are rushed to Haiti will come back. We need sanity. And of course, 2027 election is hanging in the balance because Meg Whitman really helped William Ruto. He, she was in, 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 in the bombers protecting that illegitimate process. Before you accuse me, open the server and we know the truth and tell us where Jose Camargo went. And of course, the fate of Meg Whitman is something that is hanging in the balance. Donald Trump will sweep he will make changes. I understand that uh, Meg Whitman is a, is a Republican, but her closeness, dalliance with, the, with Joe Biden is something that I know is going to make her lose that job. And so, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is stranded. He does not know what to do. People are already congratulating the, the, the president-elect, and he has not done that. And I know he will only do it, Shingo Pande, because there's nothing that he can do. From where we sit, from this desk, we also congratulate the president-elect Donald Trump. We are happy and we believe that we are going to bring policies that will allow Africa to exercise independence because we are tired of this interference by other countries.